Santiago. What did you do, Jose? I got second place at the PBD Regional, uh, playing my Sprite Strategy. Uh, just quick shout out, shout out to Genius City Collectibles. A new team started by some really good friends of mine, John P. Roman, shout out to him. Uh, Nick Fernandez, they're doing incredible things. Um, I know incredible things to come in the future, so shout out to the squad. Uh, shout out to my boy Yadiel for getting his first invite today. Shout out to all my opponents, all my opponents were great. Shout out to Jacob for winning uh, last round, beating me. Uh, shout out to Felix, Rodriguez, Joji Orlando, everyone here. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sure. I'll forget to shout out a bunch of people, so I'm sorry if I forget you. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, to get into the deck, uh, I played a case tournament yesterday. Uh, so I have 13 and 1 over the last two days with this deck. Um, yeah, so it's pretty good. Uh, three blue, three jet, you have to play these. They're the best cards. Uh, one red, one carrot, one pixies. Pixies is really good because a lot of times they'll want to like threaten battle phase um, to out elf and then you just like summon back blue in attack position, surge pixies, and now they can't do that. So that's pretty good. Um, this deck is a lot about uh, follow up. You typically want to end on follow up and then kill them, kill them on the crackback. Uh, to coincide, three starter, one smashers. Uh, I almost played two smashers, but I didn't want to break on it uh, turn one. We already played so many hand traps that like. It's definitely possible to draw like hand traps and a smasher and it'd be dead, so I only wanted to play one. Uh, I played D.Va. Uh, I wanted to be able to search hand traps. Uh, Tear is typically the only hand trap if they're going to play one is Nibiru. Um, and if you have a blue, you can still play around it. Um, I played some tar some interesting targets uh, as well that I could search off this, so I was happy I played it. Uh, three swap, Ronin. I uh, didn't want to play Duke Frog. Uh, was typically trying to play around Super Poly. Um, this was amazing. This is like the best normal summon because if you summon it with any sprite, you can literally play it through almost like any two hand traps. Um, and once you have this, Imperm never matters. Uh, the Trickstar cards, these cards were really good. Um, I wanted, I was like, I was playing the deck and I found that um, a lot of the defensive cards you play never act as like starters as well. So this is a card that acts as um, an engine piece as far as like you can activate this and get a level two. Um, and it also acts in, uh, as a defensive card in some scenarios when you go second. So uh, I like the versatility of it and it was really good all day. And this is, uh, you know, a more functional brick because in essence you could just normal summon it, it's a level two. So it's better to play than, you know, some other options out there. Uh, three Prosperity, this card's insane. Search Flood, search Hand Traps, search Combo Piece. It kind of sucks when you go second uh, because you're banishing. Uh, typically when you go first, you, you want to banish like the Zeus cards, but when you go second, you need those cards to kind of play. So seeing this going second kind of sucks. You always side it out in the mirror because like Toad's going to negate it and then they have a Prosperity, so. I played three Nib, three Crow, three Imperm, uh, two Ash, one Valor, one Bell. Um, I thought... These were the most impactful hand traps of the format. These were less impactful and my engine could get to them through like a diva. Um, I wanted to play one and one because typically in the tier matchup, Bell's insane, whereas Valor can be good, but if you get greedy and like Valor or Rhino Heart or Valor or Kit and they chain Poly, you're pretty much out of there. So I never wanted to search Valor against um, tier unless I had like these two already. Uh, but I was typically searching Bell if uh, I already had Ash. And in other matchups, it's just insane as well. Um, and then the last card, this is kind of like what I played over the second Smashers, was a Cosmic. Uh, when I was working out the side deck slot, there was a card I wanted to play at three that I really couldn't, um, unless I took a card out of the side deck. And this was a card I decided to put in the main deck. Um, I never really drew it, never really came up, but it, in theory, is good. Again, just one of in the main deck. Um, people think, you know, once you go through the one Smasher, you have no out to mind, so. Unless you play two, of course, but yeah, it's there. Uh, for extra real quick, three elf, you need it for the grind. How to summon hand traps, dark to bait everything out and then steal their guys. These cards, literally my favorite card, uh, favorite extra deck monsters. Um, it's just, typically when you go second, everyone just like, they make Zeus, they wipe the board and then they try to gigantic after. Um, you don't necessarily have to go for Zeus. Zeus is there, I think, only in certain matchups and in certain game states. These cards are basically like Zeus in essence. Like they, they help you get there and they're linked too. So you just literally make Gigantic over them, clear a, a body that's threatening like a carrot or a red, and then you use Gigantic effect. So these cards are just insane. I actually think they're mandatory. Like I'm surprised a lot more people don't play them, uh, but they're really good. As for the Link Monsters, two Gigantic, uh, two, this guy, didn't really make them much, but. Uh, Downer, Zeus, Cat Shark, and Onibamaru. Uh, there's like 
there's like questions to cut this because I play Cerberus, but like there's some matchups where you'd rather banish and go for game than pop it, so yeah. And then quickly for the side deck, uh, one reboot, cards insane, probably should be banned. Uh, two anti spell. Um, I, uh, the theory behind playing anti spell over something else was that I played a lot of hand traps for the mirror already. Um, so this wasn't necessarily for the mirror. Uh, this was for other matchups. Um, and against tier, if you flip anti spell in draw phase, uh, you can now resolve toad and standby. So that like got you follow up. So that was the idea behind that. I played three shifter, one gamma burst. Um, this was good because against tier, uh, any two bodies becomes game if they pass. And if you open multiple sprites, and it just gets even more crazy. This was pretty good. I played uh, Gamma Driver, pretty good. And I once played uh, Three Cherries. This card was really good. Um, in the mirror match, if you pair with another low impact hand trap, it gets really good. If they don't open swap, you typically hit Gigantic. If they open swap, then you typically want to hit Elf, and you're going to win the grind every time. And one Resonator. Um, funny, like, about this card is that I never really won with it in time. I would actually just side this in when I wanted, like, more engine in my deck. When I wanted another level two, and I didn't want, like, a certain hand trap. So funny enough, like, I actually just put this in in matchups where I just wanted like, yo, can I draw level two? Let me just draw this. So, yep, that's the deck. Um, there was consideration to play the runic cards over like uh, these type of cards because the runic cards are also disruptions that can be starters. But my issue with the runic cards is like, if you don't draw two, they seem pretty weak. Um, and then skipping the battle phase is also, um, it's kind of tough. It's like, it's hard to play around and play through. So, that's the deck again. Shout out to everyone, shout out to the team. Appreciate it. Thank you. Alejandro.